Hi, this is Michelle Green with Marstown TV Today. I have a special guest with me, and she and I would like to tell you about a very special camp that's coming up for kids. Now, it's like most typical camps, but this camp has a very special purpose behind it. It's called Camp Hugs. Now, with me is Miss Stephanie Hamill. Stephanie is the Executive Director of Friends of Hospice, the organization which is sponsoring Camp Hugs. Stephanie, if you would, let's go ahead and jump into this, because I know we have quite a bit to cover. Let's tell the audience what exactly the purpose is behind Camp Hugs? Well, Camp Hugs has been around uh, in the Lakeway area for 17 years and it stands for Healing and Understanding Through Grief Support. And it normally we have a weekend camp in April every year. It's a full weekend for kids ages 6 through 17 who had a death in their family. This is our first year of actually doing a Camp Hugs for the family and it's going to be a day camp and what it's going to be is for families who have had a loss within their immediate family. And this is to bring the family together so they can learn how to become a new normal. Because, you know, when that significant family person is gone, everybody has to learn new roles. And that's what this camp is going to be all about, is helping the parent, the children, and the family as a unit learn how to better function together again to learn how to adapt with the loss. I know a lot of times when there is a death in the family, be it a, a parent, a sibling, a grandparent, there's a lot that goes into it. You're planning a funeral, you're arranging flowers and singers and the preacher and such. Kids kind of get lost in the shuffle, don't you think? They absolutely do. And a lot of times moms and dads want to protect their kids and they don't talk about it. And our kids are see their mom and dad cry and that makes them scared. So this is really to kind of help them teach what's what's normal and, and what are kids feeling and what are mom and dads feeling and, and just be able to help them start communicating uh, with one another and know that it's safe and it's okay to express our feelings. So I know you're saying that this year is actually for the family, but still yet it's focused mainly on the children. Am I correct in that? For the most part, but I think that a lot of times we miss um, how hard it is for the parents, especially if it's been a husband or wife that's passed away. You know, mom or dad now have to take on a new role. You know, and sometimes that's hard to do if dad's done all the discipline and now dad's gone and mom has to figure out how to do that or mom's done all the nurturing and dad has to now learn how to do that. So not only are the roles changing but how kids adapt to mom and dad and so really while it is focused on the kids it's actually focused on the family unit with this camp uh, and learning them how to learn helping them learn as a family how to function and and work through this you know hold that's there. Their grief, their absolute learning how to deal with the grief. Well, let's talk a bit about when the camp is coming up, the day of the camp, and where it's going to be located. It's going to be located at Alpha Baptist Church in Morristown, and it's going to be held on Saturday, September the 26th. Now, this will just be a one-day camp as opposed to our camp in April that's a full weekend, uh, but registration will be from 8 to 9 in the morning, and all the meals will be provided There'll be support groups for different age groups of children. The parents will also be in a support group too with other adults. And then we will have a time of um, a share time with the family to be able to do a group activity together as a memorial activity. Um, we will also have daycare available for children ages two through five. Uh, for two and under, they'll be responsible for finding daycare for them and sitters. But we want to be able to not hold anybody back because they have younger children that may not be appropriate for a group. And there's no cost for the camp. That's always a bonus. I, and I know you have a lot of regular camp activities that are going on. I know in front of us here, and Tony's going to get a zoom in on it later, there's actually the quilt. Let's talk really quick, if we can, let's talk a little bit about the quilt, the purpose behind the quilt. The quilt is, we call this our memory quilt, and when we do camp hugs in the spring, the kids always put together a quilt. And we will do a special activity like that. I don't know if we'll do a camp at the fam a quilt at the family camp. However, this is kind of an idea of some of the activities that we do during camp uh, to help 
with the remembrance process, with the grieving process of expressing their emotions. And you'll see as he zooms in on some of these quilt squares, the kids are asked to draw something or write something to remember their loved one because they know that other people are going to see this. And this is how we help um, advertise for our camp in the future. So this is our memory quilt from camp a couple years ago. So it gives the kids a way to say goodbye to their family member, plus honor them at the same time. Now, if anybody has any more questions about Camp Hugs, let's give them a number or a website they can go to. They can uh, call Friends of Hospice at 586-5284. They can also uh, visit our website, which is hospicefriends.org. And actually, our camp registration form is still from the April, but they can fill that out the same way. They, and uh, we'll be more than happy to send them all the information uh, or pre-register them over the phone. But they do have to be pre-registered by September 15th in order so we can get all our forms and everything underway. Fantastic. Stephanie, thank you so much for being here and sharing this with our viewers. You know, guys, I always encourage you to stay tuned to Channel 7. This is one of the reasons. When you tune into Channel 7, which is your hometown TV, you find out about these wonderful activities taking place here in your hometown. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.